Thielo probably going back to the drawing board. And by that, I mean, uh, <laughs> he's uh, saving up his resources. <laughs> yeah, uh, that last game really bothers me, man. Well, it's, I mean, I, I really need to go back and, and look at that. Well, uh, it's going to kill me inside further. Yeah, so let's now talk. let's, uh, I, I want to talk because if we can emphasize real quick. Oh, because you're on Street Lock Space. Let's look at TLO, what he's doing. He's going for a six pull, a good old fashioned six pull. Oh. Now, Andre, you are familiar with six pull. In fact, uh, you work with six pull gaming. In fact, so it's not a, not that big. Of we a don't game. six pull that often, though. Yeah. <laughs> we don't actually six pull. We just uh, we just represent the six pool. Now, a six pool on a two player map that can be expected. And Gonzi's not walling off. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, Gonzi's actually uh, he's he's putting his first depot on the high ground, playing very greedy just to save a few minerals. Oh, and he's gonna scout. Wow. Just kidding, he's not gonna scout. He's nope. just placing his barracks on the high ground there. And... Huh, this is very interesting. <sighs> oh, is he gonna, he's, is he gonna two racks? Uh, is he gonna try to two racks on this map? Yes. Huh. Well, uh... Andre, how does this play out here? Because I haven't actually, in my time playing Terran, I haven't been 6-pulled on this map before. Yeah, I, I think 6 pool in general doesn't work against Terran. With 5 drones in it, an aid. It just does not work. There's just too many ways where Zerg can defend. Oh, he's sending uh, a 6 drone where Terran, after... Terrans uh, can defend. So, wow. I mean, what he basically has to do is protect his... No, he doesn't even have to protect his barracks. He just lets his barracks finish, gets Marines out, Lifts his command center, brings his SCVs over. SCV Marine against Zergling Drone. Uh, well, uh, you can see that guns are already starting a bunker back at home. You can see the bunker's also canceled here for uh, Gonzi. His first Marine really shouldn't be able to live oh as God. long as he's able to do it. Oh, it's going to be really close. T Zergling's in bait. No. Zergling's and drones trying to chase, and the Marine will it survive. It doesn't. But, uh,. Regardless of what happens, another Marine's about to pop out, and Gonzi has his bunker up. Now, he just needs to protect that Marine, really can just hold back and repair it for Kingdom Come. And Gonzi, his last Marine, he really needs to keep that one alive. Will he get it? Mm, no, yes. it doesn't really. Oh, you mean, yeah. yeah. Is, is he going to survive? I was like, no, but now Gonzi has to defend with just purely his Marines. His barracks is actually burning, and uh, he's going to have to repair that as well. This would be so much easier as long as he could really control. But he's going to get us around oh, here. TLO. And Tilo pulls back with his Zerglings. A lot of his units end up dying there here. You and uh, you can see that now Gonzi is trying to play uh, around the horn here. He's trying to really repair and get something out. Now he needs to keep that barracks alive as much as he can. He needs to repair the bunk the barracks. And the barracks is not going to live any longer. But, I mean, Gonzi is just going to try to fight this. Again, Zerglings, his supply counts are very low. But in the end... TLO does survive and he has drones. GG. <laughs> and TLO <laughs> wins with the old fashioned six pool. What a funky way of events. I wonder if Gonzi took out the drones. It would have been a tie. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he sent all of his drones. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, that was misplayed, actually. Uh, and not if he a made an orbital command, he's still not a lot of Terrans mm -hmm. actually, I, I guess, go against that style, but you can actually make a bunker at your main. Get a marine out. Huh. Just trade with SCVs and marines, and then what happens is there's less units on the map, all right? Less <laughs> zerglings, less drones, and drones are actually the units that are able to catch up with uh, marines a lot faster than zerglings, I believe. Yeah. So once you trade, you get that marine to walk over to the bunker. You're good to go, um, and you don't mind that yeah. at all. So uh, it, it is a. It, I, I'm actually really surprised that Gonzi didn't defend against that accurately. Yeah. Um, you can lift off the, the barracks, place it, so that way you can have a position to repair it, making it harder for the Zerglings to ever get in it. You just need that one Marine into the bunker, and you can repair it until forever. Yeah, and, well, uh, you don't even need that. SEVs and Marines, a and a single Marine is enough to stop the six pool. Yeah. It really, I mean, you're, I mean, uh, the you're really was, efficient. The bunker would have secured that everything. Yes, yeah. yes, it would. But, so. I mean, how do you get the Marine all the way from the natural to go into the bunker? It's tough to do that. But if you can trade the units... There's less units on the field, so just then you can bring the Marine over. It's it's Fair a lot enough. easier, especially with SCV support. So, uh, 
TLO, I'll have to six for you five times to see I know. if I can get see. that. But TLO see. comes one win closer to $150 for the week, as well as moving up in the standings. We want to thank Azo, the people who made possible for NHL Season 3 with the monitors. And uh, guys, we'll be back with game number three. Sorry about how such a short game it is, but in the end, it's a game about the numbers, and a win is a win. Series is tied one-on-one. We'll find out who takes a game number three right after this.